Today, we will be learning about a reading method to increase active reading. The method is called SQ3R. I know that it may have a weird name, but it's actually quite useful for reading academic texts and can even assist you with studying. Let's begin. There are five steps in the SQ3R method. They are survey, question, read, recite, and review. We will spend a few moments looking at each step of the process in detail. For the first step, you will need to survey the text. While surveying, a reader completes many tasks. You might preview the assigned pages by flipping through them. You may glance over illustrations and charts. You take the time to note bold-faced words. You think about what you already know about the topic. Surveying is important because it allows you to see the big picture and determine what is important. By surveying a text, you are preparing yourself to read. Secondly, you will need to ask yourself questions. You have a few choices in this step. If your textbook has questions, you can use those to help guide your reading. If not, you will need to create five or six questions on your own. The questions nurture active reading because as you read, you will search for the answers. By questioning a text, a reader creates a purpose for reading. You might be wondering how to create good guiding questions. Here's a helpful hint. Look at your bold face section headings and turn them into questions using who, what, when, where, why, and how. These question stems allow a reader to focus and delve deeply into a reading. Next, you will need to read your assigned pages carefully. Remember, reading is not a race. Take your time and move at your own pace. As you read, search for your answers to your guiding questions. If you have a longer reading passage, create a plan to chunk your text into manageable sections. You might even want to mark your text by circling words and highlighting important information. Marking a text allows the reader to stay engaged. A reader can create their own marking system using symbols. For example, I use several symbols when I read. I use a question mark to denote questions. I use an exclamation point for things which interest or excite me. If I am confused, I make a tornado symbol. If I can connect to something, I use a plus sign. Take time to create symbols to help you read and annotate your text. Reciting allows a reader to check comprehension. To recite, a reader needs to summarize the information and put it into their own words. If saying information aloud feels funny, then a reader can decide to create graphic organizers or discuss the information with a friend. If you cannot recall and summarize the information, reread the text. Before moving on to new information, a reader needs to review information learned. A reader can do this by rereading highlighted information, asking questions, and checking over notes. This must be completed immediately after reading to ensure retention. If a reader can determine and discuss what is important using specific details, then they can move on to the next section. You have learned all about SQ3R. Please return to your module and complete the practice review question.